Hi! So today I'm going to be talking to you all about my Gaston Leroux AP Author Study Project. And in this project we had to find and research an author of AP Literary Merit. We had to read three books by this author, record our annotations of each book in a Reader's Notebook blog, write a literary analysis for each book, write a cumulative research paper on all of our research and our author and our books, and lastly we had to write a creative mimesis for our project. So the first step of our author study project was to find and research an author, and I decided to do Gaston Leroux. Gaston Leroux was a very popular author and novelist in the late 1800s. His popularity came from his crazy stunts at, and methods of writing. Um, he was known for being very flamboyant and daring, actually. He would sneak into jails in disguise and to interview prisoners to get their statements about a certain case, about a person, and since nobody did that, the issues that had his name on it were going to sell very well because people were deeply intrigued by his writing. In his free time, Gaston Leroux liked to live lavishly. He was very indulgent into food and into drink and into gambling. And this didn't change after his father died. His father actually left a very large fortune for Gaston and Gaston squandered it and spent it all on alcohol and gambling. But after some research, I actually found that Gaston did this because he was coping with his death and alcohol was his primary coping mechanism, which is sad. After spending all of his father's money, Gaston decided that, that he needed to make an income for himself, otherwise he was going to fall into poverty. So he turned to writing. Instead of his usual, very flamboyant style, he actually had a lot of gothic elements in his new work. So, and that can... That has been speculated to have stemmed from his father's death because it hit him very hard. The three books that I'm going to be talking about today are The Phantom of the Opera, The Mystery of the Yellow Room, and Baloo. All right, so the first book I read for my author study was The Phantom of the Opera, and this was one of Gaston Leroux's later works. It occurred after his father's death, so it makes sense as to why there were so many gothic elements in it, because Gaston Leroux turned very dark after his father's death, after dealing with a bout of depression, and just trying not to drink himself to death. So he turned to writing both to maintain an income, but also to deal with all the emotions that he was feeling. But this book is about a disfigured man dwelling beneath the Paris Opera House, and he becomes obsessed with this lead soprano named Christine Daye. And basically in this book, it's just him trying to do everything in his power to kidnap her and to convince her or to force her to marry him. Some common themes in this book are murder, mystery, supernatural, and superstition which are very common themes in all of Gaston Leroux's works. So this book uses a lot of intense imagery and emotion, and critics have speculated that perhaps Gaston Leroux did this because he was so used to using it in his journalistic stories. To make an audience want to read your, your story, you have to have a lot of emotion and something to draw them in. And this book was actually inspired by true events. Leroux, during his journalistic career, covered a story at the Paris Opera House where a chandelier fell and killed a construction worker. Leroux was very inspired by this, and he decided that he was going to make it center around a figure named the Phantom of the Opera, and that the Phantom of the Opera caused the chandelier to fall and kill somebody as revenge against the managers of the Opera House. Then years later, there was a skeleton found in the cellars of the Opera House, and Leroux claimed up until the day that he died, that they were Eric, or the Phantom of the Opera's remains. And that he said that his novel was not fictional, but it was actually a reporter submitting a copy to his editor. So this is one of his best works by far, and that's why it is remembered today by so many people. All right, so the next book I read is The Mystery of the Yellow Room. And this one is centered around a reporter named Joseph roulet Bois and his partner, Monsieur Sinclair. And this is called the first locked room mystery. Basically, a locked room mystery is where a crime happens in a small room with only a few entrances and exits, which seemingly no one can pass through because they're locked or they have bars on them. But somehow the crime still happens. So this book is just Mr. Roulette Bois, or Monsieur Roulette Bois, trying to figure out who did it and how they managed to get out of there without anybody seeing them. But some common themes in this, again, are mystery, obviously, suspense, and horror. But unfortunately, this book has a lot of criticism surrounding it. Um, there are a lot of Sherlock Holmes parallels, and Sherlock Holmes was actually written first by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. So critics have actually said that Leroux just plagiarized Doyle's work and changed some character names, made a different case, but he still uses a lot of the same character descriptions, uh, personality traits, 
Even the pacing of the novel is very similar to that of Sherlock Holmes. So critics have really questioned how much literary merit this book actually does have, and that's what I talked about in my second literary analysis, is just the different parallels and how it affected the book as a whole. Right, so the last book I read is Baloo, and Baloo is probably one of the most interesting books I've ever read, mainly because of the plot. This book is about an ape man named Baloo who has been taken from his home forest and has been experimented on and given human vocal cords, which is a terrible combination because Baloo has a very short temper. He has a very short fuse. So he starts terrorizing this town near Paris, and he, he starts off by just pulling pranks on people, usually kind of harmless things, or he just steals, or he slapped this man in the face and then disappeared, which scared the man half to death. But then, because of his anger issues, he actually ends up murdering people who make fun of him. So some themes in this book include murder, mystery, suspense, and superstition. And for my literary analysis, I actually analyze the character of Baloo, uh, because he is a very complex character and he really just has a lot of raw emotion, which led me to believe that maybe, along with The Phantom of the Opera, I think that Gaston Leroux used Baloo as a channel for all of his emotions that resulted due to his father's death. For my Mimesis project, I actually did two things. I drew a picture and I also wrote a chapter for a book. First of all, here is my picture. Uh, so what I did is I took two characters from each book that I read and I incorporated them into this scene, which this scene is the masquerade scene from The Phantom of the Opera, and I decided that that was very fitting because that's a very popular scene that a lot of people usually know. And then for my chapter, I actually wrote a prologue for a novel in the style of Gaston Leroux. I wrote a mystery called The Case of the Broken Tower. It's where a murder happens at a hotel. And I used a lot of elements of Leroux's style. In summary, Gaston Leroux was a very famous novelist and journalist during the late 1800s. He was very famous due to his crazy methods and writing style. Unfortunately, his popularity has died down significantly in recent years mostly because he's been replaced by more modern authors. Usually he is only known for his one work, The Phantom of the Opera, because it has been adapted so many different times into TV shows, into movies, into a musical, even into other books. Overall, he is a very influential writer who had a lot of talent and creativity, and I'm glad that I chose him for my author study. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you learned something and I didn't bore you too much.